Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for visiting. I thought I would share with you some things that I've picked up recently. Um, a lot of them came in the mail today. Uh, this is something I picked up here locally, but I'll share that with you in a minute here. Uh, so first I ordered a stamp on eBay. This was a free gift that they sent. So that's cute little points that a two from label. So thank you for that. And then this is the stamp that I ordered. This is the Poinsettia Square from Diana Markham from 2000 from Stamp Passions. So I thought this was beautiful. So glad that arrived. And uh, this paper pad is one I picked up here locally. I had to go pay my mom's rent basically and uh, stopped it Tuesday morning over in that town and was delighted to see this. I had actually been looking for this a couple years ago and was not able to find it. So when I saw it in the store this week, I was really thrilled. And so let me just give you a quick flip through. They do have gold foiling in here um, and it's really beautiful. So uh, this print here is really nice. It's a really pretty blue with the cream colored snowflake. This print I love. It's like a forest floor toss with the different animals and the trees have different uh, foiling accents on them. Cute. And this green here is gorgeous. This green is so pretty. Uh, and the ornament uh, design here is in cream. Then there's a really beautiful plaid, and I love this color of the um, polka dot print as well. There's this really cute uh, tree print, and again, those trees um, all have different foiling accents. Then there's these uh, deer in the forest, and there's kind of just like a tossed um, greenery print around them. So you get the buck and the doe. And then there's this forest toss print. There's a really pretty plaid here. Uh, here's one of my favorite pages, the little stocking hat, uh, the stocking itself, trees, cabins, mittens, bunnies, uh, ornaments, pine cones, I mean, hello, everything, everything you can think of for Christmas and winter. Little candy canes, there's wreaths and holly and ornaments, everything, snowflakes. <laughs> and then this is a really cute print here as well, loving the green um, backgrounds, the green tones in this. A really fun, crazy polka dot that has gold foiling. <laughs> this is a medium brown uh, wood tone or a wood grain print. And then this sheet here is all the different strips. And I love this one here up at the top. It's the pine cone with the snowflake here at the top too. So really fun. And I love those cabins. Really fun. Here's another plaid and then another ornament page some polka dots and uh, another of the woodland animals but in more of a pattern style. This uh, sheet here is really beautiful. It has a really pretty green color um, and this is a design that's repeated in the pad with other colors. And this is probably my least favorite print of all but I do like the back side so there's that. Uh, this is a really beautiful um, greenery toss and then we've got the uh, deer in the forest uh, with no gold foiling. There's some music paper, which I think is a kind of an odd inclusion in here, but all right. <laughs> uh, and then there is the um, calendar pages. So you could do like a um, December daily or a countdown to Christmas. There's this pine cone um, garland. This is a really cute sheet here on the mid-tone or dark tone wood grain. So I love these. No foiling or anything on this page, just the white print. And then there's this um, forest floor greenery toss again, and I love this green color. That's a beautiful print as well. And then there's the light tone wood grain with um, blue-green snowflakes. This is a cute little page with some cabins. This is a fun page. I love this green color. Beautiful trees. And then there's a really fun plaid here. And then here's this print again. This was in a lighter green color previously, so it's nice to see it in the darker blue. And then there, hello, this is the brightest gold foiled page ever. Um, that's way bright, way too bright. And then the light wood tone, and then finally a cut apart sheet. Really cute paper pad. I love this uh, square here. Tis the season with those cute little stockings. So was happy to find that. So let me set this aside. And then I did order some stuff from scrapbook.com and it came in today. But first, before I share those things with you, I want to share this with you. They are doing a Cards for Kindness. Uh, and this is where if you have extra um, handmade cards, you can send them over to scrapbook.com. They give you three simple steps. Um, one, make your card. Two, 
uh, when you have 10 or more cards, you can mail them to them and then they gather them up, organize them, and then send them on to different um, organizations that take in cards. And there's just uh, a list of some, some of the um, organizations that they support with handmade cards. So I thought that was fun. I hadn't actually seen that in any of my orders recently, um, but I haven't ordered lately either. So that could be why. Uh, so let me go ahead and share uh, what I picked up. I went crazy for dyes for some reason. <laughs> Um, so this was one of the freebies, uh, the I Love You die, and it's a two-piece die. So that's a nice little gift. And then I had picked up some of the older um, Tim Holtz uh, dies. Um, this actually might be one of the new ones. No, this is from last year. Um, so this is the Festive Bouquet. And then I also picked up this one. This is Fall Foliage, and this is from two years ago. So I liked that. And dyes were on sale, by the way, uh, the previous to this year's releases. This one is called Funky Nature, and I thought that was fun. I love the idea of the feathers and this big leaf here that kind of also looks like a feather and these long um, strips of greenery I think are really beautiful and I, I like that it has an egg there so that should be fun to use and then I also picked up this one this is also a previous release uh, from 2000 and it's called Holiday Brush Stroke so I just liked the idea of having those unique shapes and then I picked up a couple of the Halloween houses that I hadn't picked up yet uh, this is Ghost Town 1 and Haunted so I thought these would be fun to play with as well I love the clouds and the moon in this particular set as well. So cute. Then I picked up a few of the uh, more recent releases as well. I picked up this one. This is called Collector, and I really liked this, uh, basically this seed um, envelope here, coin envelope. Comes with some uh, additional accessories as well, like these tickets are going to be fun. Really super teeny tiny tags. There's three sets of the numbers um, in this kit as well. So seriously, look how little that is. They should have put those on a plate. <laughs> um, and then I picked up this one. This is uh, called Specimen. And I was uh, really after the uh, file folder here and this um, slide frame. But again, they've got a whole series of numbers, um, just a little bit smaller than the other one. And then I really like this frame piece here as well. So I thought this would be fun to play with. And those numbers and dies are even smaller than the last ones. <laughs> and then I also bought this one. And actually, I bought these two on eBay for 10 bucks. So it was quite the good deal. Um, so this one has a little envelope. It has uh, some postage stamp items, more numbers, and some additional um, things like you would see on uh, registered mail and uh, things like that. So again, wicked tiny dies. Uh, back to scrapbook.com, I picked up this little gingerbread cookie die. And I know this has a coordinating stencil and maybe even a stamp set, uh, maybe just a stencil. Um, I, just, I just wanted the die itself. I'm assuming it's in there. I guess it's in there. Can't even feel it, there it is right there. <laughs> it's so thin, my goodness. Um, then I also picked up this die. This was on clearance. I really like this little basket. I like the cute shapes of the trees. And these little um, types of things are fun to use with some of your other dies. So, you know, sometimes you just want a little accent piece. And uh, so I thought these would be really cute to use. It's got a little present with a bow. I really like the two trees as well. This one's called Christmas Cheer. And again, this is from the year 2000. So a couple years old. All right, so that does it for the um, die. Actually, that does not do it for the dies. Uh, here is one more that I picked up. I saw Marilyn G pick this up. This is called Nested Peeps. And um, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a really great die to have in the springtime. And um, like Marilyn, I'm surprised they're actually selling this. I think if they continue selling it, they'll probably have to change the name. Um, but wanted to snag this up before it's no longer available. So that'll be fun to have in the springtime. And let's see, on to some paper. 
So yeah, just a few more things here. Uh, so this was a freebie with uh, an order. So on scrapbook.com, they often have freebies that you can add to your order. You just have to be sure to add them to your cart. So this was one um, on the a day that I was ordering. And this is Sweater Weather from Lawn Fawn. Really cute um, papers, prints, and of course, colors. So some fun sunflowers in there. And I thought that little print was cute. The little gray, it kind of looks like a quilt. But I like that um, green print there so fun stuff I also picked up this one here this is from paper rose it's called Christmas plaid these are from Australia I'm trying not to blind you with the uh, glare up here and over here then I picked up winter plaid also from paper rose I thought these were nice kind of masculine colors and then I also picked up poinsettia garden basics this is um, plaids but they're on the diagonal um, or on the bias polka dots and stripes so nice size for card making and then the last paper pad that I picked up was this one here this is called mix and a mingle <laughs> interesting that they didn't do mingle it's, it's a mingle I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I like the colors in here. Um, I really like the prints. There's some prints in here that are not my favorite. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do with Holiday Bingo. Thankfully, there's a cute little red print on the back. Um, this is really cute, is that Santa? And there's another, um, this one I don't know what I would do with. Merry Christmas. Um, but it has a cute little red polka dot design on the back, so. But for the most part, I think it's adorable and I like the colors. And then the last thing I ordered from scrapbook.com was this uh, Penny Black stamp set. And it has the little dog that I like so much. Uh, so I didn't have any of these in wood mount stamps. So I thought I would get this one in the cling mount or the clear mount. So really cute. And the Penny Black stamps um, are photopolymer now as well. I don't think they used to be. So, but for the price they charge, they should be. So there's that. Um, what else do I have to share with you? Oh, I placed an order with Peddler's Pack, uh, but I think I'll come back and do a separate video on that. Um, and here are a couple things I bought from um, Amazon. So I'm sure all of you watch Jill's channel, Jill Norwood, Greenwood Girl Cards. The other day she was sharing uh, one of her projects and she was using these Prim Hearts and I paused the video, <laughs> went onto Amazon and found them and ordered them. And I'm wondering how many of you did the same thing. I thought these were super cute. And so they obviously needed to be in my stash as well. And then while I was ordering those, I noticed this cute little bag of snowflakes. So I picked this up as well um, off of Amazon. And I think there's 100 heart buttons and 200 snowflakes. So plenty for quite some time. <laughs> I'll be back to share a, um, another video with you about my um, Peddler's Pack stamps. And um, I also have received some beautiful cards in the mail. I want to come back and do a separate video for those as well. And I have a package in the mail from my friend Gabby. And I got a package in the mail today from my friend Carol. But those are going to wait until Friday. And I think I have some other things I want to share with you too. But I'll keep those in a separate video. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.